everybody, Eric here from LabFix, and today we have um, a melon for our Toshiba external drive, and we see it actually did come like this. It's been opened and possibly been worked on before. Actually, it's, I'm not sure if a day recovery place worked on it, but I highly doubt it. it looks like that there was just a mainly a problem with the drive. Now, we also got in, which is interesting with this, we got a four terabyte drive externally to transfer the data to for this. And you're probably thinking, uh, all right, okay, so this person must be pretty serious about data recovery. So this is uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually just open this up because the shell has been broken. You can even see a lot of the, the hatches here and a lot of clips have been broken on the external part. That's not too big of a deal because we're not going to be putting that back in this case anyway. Since we see that there is so much damage here to the drive, you can see it's dented on the sides. It looks like it has possibly been uh, pried up. You can actually see in five print there where it says do not cover breathing hole. And what the breathing hole is, if you can see, it's very, very fine print on the bottom of the drive, like right, right over here in the bottom. It says, do not cover breathing hole. Now, some of these holes, what they're meant for is they're not meant to, to remove it because there's like an air pocket filter usually there for, for air to pass through, right? And you need to have that, especially for these type of drives. Now, these type of drives are very, very extremely delicate. And to be getting data off, I'm sure this person is very serious actually about their data because they really want the data and they believe they can get the data off of it because they brought in uh, another drive with it and they did mail it in the first place for repair. So they spent money on it and stuff just to mail it in, just to get it to us, right? So uh, you can see this has been, it looks like pried open. There's a lot of strip screws here. There's, there's a big problem with this drive. And uh, the notes even say that the head has been completely uh, damage there and whichever whatever that means but we'll take a look at it in just a second but people just really don't understand the data recovery process for it and what usually does include especially if there's a problem with the drive you want to make sure that uh, if you hear a clicking noise or, or if you hear a noise in general or if you're not able to get the data or if you turn on the the drive it's not recognizing or it's not spinning or anything like that you want to make sure that you take it into a recovery place like us because we do lots of data recovery cases. We work on USBs, external drives, three and a half inch drives, desktop drives. We do everything here. We have a clean room. We also have a PC 3000 that help us all with, uh, and all the tools are actually done here. And we do everything in house here and it helps us all with the repairs. So if you're really serious about the drive, just the number one thing, just make sure you send it in like us for a day recovery and not try to open it yourself. Because if you open it yourselves, um, you're going to definitely risk getting some debris on the drive or um, you're going to make irreversible damage on the drive, which is significantly going to reduce uh, the chance for data recovery. Because for data recovery, you only have one chance. And to be looking at this, that chance is pretty much already gone. But I'm going to show you just a little bit uh, inside this drive because uh, I just want to show you guys what exactly goes on. So let's just get into it. Uh, since this has already been pried open and there's lots of damage to it already, we already did take a look at it. It's kind of more of a beyond type of recovery type of situation. So we'll go ahead and look under the microscope. I'll show you guys exactly what's... We already did open in our clean room and uh, we saw that there was a bit too much damage to it already because it looks like it's been worked on. It looks like it's obviously been opened and looks like someone's been touching it and there's just too much damage for actual data recovery for this. So we're going to show you here too uh, why these cases are why you shouldn't open them and why these cases are uh, very, very serious, especially if you're serious about your data. To see these these scratch lines on it, uh, these very, very deep ones, all this surface damage, see all this debris, there's hair, there's fingerprints all over it. Um, and not even to say that this head is completely snapped off and broken here. Um, there's a little bit too much damage. So it doesn't make it absolutely impossible to get data off. But for this one in particular, there's just way too much damage for it. Uh, we did try to see if there's anything else we can do, but there's just a little bit too much. You can even see on the edge here, you see where it looks like there's might have been a little bit of a grind there, some of the discoloration. So see even like around this area too, that's a little bit discolored. It's probably been grinding a little bit, especially if this head gets stuck here, it can give damage to the platter itself. That's probably what else is happening. Probably someone did a lot of other stuff to it. But we tried to look into this a little further and we deemed this as a non recovery Maybe this data could have been recoverable if uh, the client didn't open it first and cause a lot more extra damage because a lot of cases, especially if there's a head stuck or if there's a, or if it needs a head replacement or if there's any other type of damage in there, especially mechanical issue, we can most likely help you out there. But if you're opening it up and damaging the drive a little bit further, it's going to make the chances go a lot lower. And this is exactly why, because it's causing more damage on top of the drive that shouldn't have been occurred to it naturally, that shouldn't have been occurred to it in the first place. And um, you should just let the natural damage be the only damage you shouldn't let, uh, add to it and then make the chances go way down. 
for any type of recovery. So anyways, guys, just a quick little video just explaining that, especially on hard drives. So please don't open them. We don't accept any drives really that have been opened and worked on before because for data recovery, you only get one chance for that. If you have a problem, you hear a problem, it's not turning on, no power issue, definitely bring it to us. We'll definitely take care of you and do everything we possibly can for recovery. Don't try, don't try to open it. Don't try to work on it. Just bring it to us. We'll take care of you. Anyways, I hope you guys are watching. If you did, please leave a like. Really does help us a lot. We have lots of uh, data recovery videos as well as liquid spill videos if you're interested in MacBooks and uh, also data recovery ways just to show you guys how we do stuff here. Go ahead, check it out on our channel and we'll see you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.